So I just got off the phone with one of my past clients. He contacted me and said he was going through a rough patch and wanted to know if I could give him something that would inspire him or help him get re-motivated. Uh, you know, something to get him back on track for the year because he hadn't really felt like he had got the wheels turning and been passionate about starting his new year. So the first question I asked was I said, listen, I'm gonna give you the best advice I could ever give you. First question was, are you using the tools you have right now? Are you doing something daily? Do you have a process, a routine that you're using? Are you setting goals? Are you focusing on what you want? Are you staying positive? Are you using the tools that I gave you? Are you using the tools you read in books or the things you're seeing online? And his answer was no. Unfortunately, he wasn't. He's been so overwhelmed and so stressed that he's been looking externally for inspiration and motivation. We start looking outside of ourselves. Outside of ourselves is supposed to be the inspiration. It's supposed to give us ideas so we can take action. And then it's our job to get motivated and create the result. It's not someone else's job to tell us what to do or give us what to do or make us do it. We have to determine what we want in our lives when we're able to remove our fears and limitations. Fears and limitations are simply the things you tell yourself that are blocking you from having it. They are exactly the things you need to work on. If there's something you want in your life and you're not getting it, and you say, I can't because, then that's exactly what you have to work on. That because, that but, that fear, that I can't is the answer. So I said, the best, the best advice I could give you right now is use what you've got. This goes for everyone that's listening to this video and everybody out there. Every single day, we go on Instagram, we go on Facebook, we go on Twitter, we go on LinkedIn, we go on uh, you know whatever else is out there, YouTube. All the different websites and every single day we're listening to stuff from people like Gary Vee and Tim Ferriss and Tony Robbins and whoever you're following. You know, we follow people for makeup and for beauty and for health and for fitness and for politics and for entertainment and for music, for everything. Every single day, everyone is putting out a positive quote a tip, uh, sharing an experience they've had that's changed their life, a video, a tutorial, a free PDF you can download. There's so much free information out there right now, you could change your entire life on your own and never speak to another person again. But nothing will ever change, and you'll never see a better result if you don't start acting on the things you have. So my challenge to you is, right now over this weekend, and this is, this is to make your life simpler and more fun, not to be stressful, more work. Trust me, it will be easier. This weekend, sit down, choose one thing over the past year that you've seen, whether it was a book, a post, a video, an article, someone that inspired you. Take one idea that when you originally saw it inspired you, and you were like, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna stick with this, I'm gonna see where this gets me, and use it. Pull it out and use it right now. For the next two weeks, set a goal, be disciplined, and every single day use that tool and see how your life changes. Then imagine what it would be like if you applied everything you saw. And in reverse, don't overwhelm yourself. Every day we're constantly looking. What you need to do is improve the behavior of taking action, not the behavior of or searching for inspiration. We're all great at searching inspiration. You just go online every day and look for it. But you have to break the habit of looking for it and expecting you to find something in your stream or in your email that is gonna change your life, because it's not. What's gonna change your life is gonna be you, but you have to take the action to do it. So every tool you've ever wanted, every answer to every problem you've ever had or have right now is sitting probably in your inbox or in the stream of one of the people you follow. So this weekend, choose one goal, one change, one resource you wanna use and do it. I guarantee you, you'll turn around next week and say, Brett, I should've done this a long time ago. So have fun. Remember, it's always about having fun. And uh, be sure and send me an email or a message. Let me know how it goes, all right? Best of luck.